The Honourable Member for Dartmouth South. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Natural Resources and Renewables. Earlier this month, Solar Nova Scotia surveyed its members and found that there are unusual delays in Nova Scotia Power's processing of utility plan reviews and meter installs. The result for these solar companies is client dissatisfaction, severe impacts to cash flow, and postponed jobs, and I'll table that. Mr. Speaker, Solar Nova Scotia believes that these delays from Nova Scotia Power are affecting the growth of solar in the province. Can the minister explain to this House why Nova Scotia Power is holding up solar projects? The Honourable Minister of Natural Resources. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the member opposite for the question. Uh, what I can say is, is I agree. I've, I've heard the exact same thing. I, I've spoken to people on the ground that have uh, have applied for these projects. There is a hold up. These are one of the these are one of the conversations that I'm having with Nova Scotia Power and staff in, in the uh, energy side of, of, of uh, my department. It, uh, it it's an issue because people do want the solar. It's it's, it's a buy-in program. It's it's a program that's seen a lot of success uh, uh, currently under the previous government, and, and I know that everybody in this house support that program. So these are conversations that are taking place to streamline and, and fast pace these programs and get some response back to what is taking place be behind the scenes on that. So I will commit to the member, uh, member opposite right now that we are looking into that to get answers for this. The Honourable Member for Dartmouth South. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. With a single publicly owned corporation that controls our power and the grid, I think those conversations are really important and we, we really hope that they bear fruit. Because, Mr. Speaker, the climate science is clear. We must shift from fossil fuels to renewables as quickly as possible. A 2019 report from the Ecology Action Centre on the costs and benefits of Nova Scotia's environmental goals legislation found that with the right targets and investment, the renewable energy industry could support 3,100 jobs per year over over 12 years. This is an exciting opportunity for Nova Scotia, Mr. Speaker, if we nurture our local renewable energy industries. My question is this. We've heard that this government commit to an 80% target for renewables by 2030. We're assured that, tar that targets are coming. Will the minister also commit to creating a specific set-aside target for local renewable industries such as solar so we can ensure that this problem doesn't replicate itself? The Honourable Minister of Natural Resources. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And uh, what, what I can say is uh, uh, credit where credit's due. The previous government did start some of that process, uh, and, and we're, we're certainly going to ensure that that, pro that pro yeah, credit where credit's due. But as, as the new government coming in, that 80% target is achievable. We said that as a government. Nova Scotian spoke that they want to see that. We know that. We hear that. And the local aspect is certainly going to be a part of that. To, to give the ratio in, in the House today, I certainly don't feel comfortable to put what put, put, put that ratio is. But uh, those conversations are happening. And we are committed to the solar, the wind, the battery, and the loop, uh, the loop that's going to interconnect all of Atlantic provinces that all these parties that are sitting in this House support today. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.